G'day everyone, Daniel O'Grady here and thank you very much for joining me for another Wasabi Cars video. I hope you're doing well. Now we're doing something a bit different today. Yeah, it's not a Japanese car, it doesn't have to be, but uh, yeah, this is a Volvo uh, from 1970 and we are car spotting in Australia. Back in August 2015, was at a service station in northern New South Wales and this beautiful 1970 142S Volvo rocked up and uh, it looks pretty special wouldn't you say turns out it's an ex rally car and an ex rally car of note this car took part in the 1970 southern cross rally the driver was colin alexander and he placed fifth in this car just an amazing effort so yeah factory built rally car it came to australia in what 1970 was sold uh, for a six thousand six hundred ninety dollars. That's quite a bit of money. The base car would have been three thousand six hundred dollars But there's a bunch of extras. Yeah, of course, it's got the 140 brake horsepower engine tuning kit uh, limited slip diff reinforced body suspension rally suspension shock springs close ratio gearbox hydraulic clutch as per the 164 Volvos and uh, yeah a few other bits and pieces now fitted at Swedish motor importers back in 1970 was the rally instrument cluster the cosmic wheels the motolita steering wheel passenger side door pocket Lucas headlights just a couple of the things that I'm reeling off yeah I found um, some information posted by the owner on uh, on the internet somewhere I forget where it now but uh, anyway lots of good information here now stored and not in the car at the moment extra fuel tank modified air filters oil cooler and rally seat again not in the car at the moment but um, yeah it just shows that it's a legit X rally car doesn't it um, yeah so I did speak to the owner very briefly he very kindly spent some time talking about his car and I gotta say you know rallying Volvos this is not really you know part of my world but it was certainly inter interesting to see this uh, amazing car and it's a beautifully presented car yeah so he was on the way down to Sydney I think for a car show um, and he was traveling down there with a bunch of other Volvos check this out now um, there are two 242 GTs now the owner of both is a fella called Mr. Wilson. No, that's not right. There are two Mr. Wilsons who own a 242 GT each But uh, yeah, these cars were sort of really caught my eye. Actually, I saw those two first But um, yeah, very very cool Now oh, can we get back to the 1970 Southern Cross rally now the winner uh, of that rally was a uh, LC GTR Tirana. I'm guessing a bit like this one here. That's an advert from uh, a 1970 magazine. Also um, from 1971, I've got another one. This is an LC with the list of rallying uh, conquests that the car performed. Then there's another better looking shot of a GTR. I quite like the LC GTR. Sorry, we're going a bit Tirana heavy at the end here, but uh, yeah, I like Holden's, what can I say? Um, hey, question of the day. Favorite old school Euro car? Now, personally, I'm thinking Jaguar Mark II. I really like those things, what, late 60s, early 70s? Yeah, very, very cool design. Now, if I had to pick a car that was not English, sort of more, you know, European, European, um, how about a BMW 3.0 CS? They look pretty cool. Okay, so question of the day, favorite old school European car? Leave a comment below. And uh, thank you very much, everyone, once again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, take it easy. Goodbye. With a little bit of rust and a little bit of dirt on the side of the and a little bit of wasabi.